Now I'm going to take you upstairs and kind of introduce you to our electricians, our wonderful electricians, and our framer. Usually I will have a limited crew in the house this big because we don't want to stop over each other. So I kind of keep a limited on the trades that I have in each home or whatever construction site that I have. So let's go on upstairs and I'll show you what we're doing. We also scraped this ceiling as you can see. This all had popcorn. And then here we had all the drop T-bar ceiling. This is going to be the master bedroom where we're putting in recessed lighting as well. This is Eddie Fast, Eddie, one of our fastest framers in Southern California. He's actually framing up a wall. Eddie, I'm just going to, before we had an inspection report on the house, which we looked through, we didn't find any termite. The termite reports came back clean. But as we opened the walls that the buyer wanted to, to make this his massive bedroom, we found termite damage. So, in the termite damage was in actually one of the critical points. This is your top plate, which is actually special. That's why we call him Fast Eddie. Give me one second. Fast Eddie, he does his job fast. So what we had to do is replace our top plates with our vertical studs to actually support our ceiling joists because this was all termite damage and it was rotted out. So to get the, the load bearing and structural sound that we wanted, we reframed this, took this out, and replaced it. And as if you pan around, you can actually see this was all drop ceiling to about here. Now what we did is we took it out, we're opening it up, we're vaulting the ceiling to give him more room. We actually found this nice beam, which you can't find these anymore. Uh, we're actually exposing the beam. We're not going to wrap it, we're going to leave it exposed and give him that nice nice look with this finished, finished beam. The drywall is going to match up to the top and it's going to be a finished look with some recessed lightings and of course a fan. This is Sean. This is one of our main electricians from Deckers. He's doing all the recess lighting. What's going on there, bro? What are we doing? We are getting power for the switch. Okay. Using uh, some Romex and going through the wall here. This Perfect. is for your flat screen TV. Perfect. And uh, you're gonna have to can't, we can't we can't can't have a master bedroom without a flat flat TV screen. Right? Okay, that's, that's what the customer wanted. And here we have the bathroom where we're extending. Oh wow! Turn into a master bathroom, this, which is a lot better. Just framed up the walls, as you can see. Fast Eddie, fast Eddie in the other room, try this all up. And as you can see, as we support it, we're going up to our ceiling joists, giving them better support. We're still going to try to keep the line with the vaulted ceiling. And right behind me, this is the owner of Decker's Electric, one of our fastest electricians here in Santa Clarita. Mm -hmm. And he's doing all our drop recess lighting and coming up with the designs for the home buyer. And what we're doing here is we're actually going to remodel this bathroom. We're going to have a dual vanity. We're actually going to move the toilet away from the shower. And this is one time where we don't really like, the buyer doesn't want to really see, uh, as we can see, the, the toilet's right by the shower. That's kind of no, no, no privacy. So what we're doing is we're going to move this out. The toilet's going to be moved over to here. And this is going to be a jacuzzi top. So that's what we're doing on this process of it, on this master bed, uh, bed, master bathroom. Way over here is not too convenient, is it? No. And if, if we could, if we could put it... Wasn't this going to be a pocket door? I was, we were thinking about putting a pocket door. Okay. So maybe, I don't know, if we walk in, slide open, ding, ding. And this would be fine. Just pull over here a little bit. Right here would be fine. That would actually be perfect. Okay. Move it over a foot. Okay. No problem. And the other thing was for here, uh, just actually putting that switch. Well, you said you wanted to put the switch over here? Only because we got power on that wall and we tap into it and just. That way, when you're walking, hey, you see this? Battery. Battery operated. You want battery? Battery operated. <laughs> Only in candy country. <laughs> well, this might be a good thing if you wake up in the morning and walk this direction. Ching, ching. That's just, you know what? Perfect. I, I, I like when that. When you're walking up the stairs, that's the only bad. you got to take two steps over here and hit. But at least you'll benefit from walking from he's here to here. Hall, he's got the hallway light. Yeah. Perfect. Because when, when you're downstairs, you flip on the switch downstairs. You got this you're in. Lighted. you got light. You're in. Perfect. Here. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so Sean, put that switch in here. Perfect. Yeah. And the other thing that we found when we were opening the walls was we found a couple boys in the fireplace. Yeah. Which, instead of relining, we're saving our clients some money and we're just foaming in all the voids with our handy duty special Home Depot hmm. foam stuff. Which is very, it's fire retardant, very good to use, very handy, it's simple to use when you want to do insulation. We're filling voids in certain cracks of windows, That's all you got. or in this case, I can have one? No. Which, I'll which take another one. We'll stop some of the, because the flashing was damaged, so what we're doing is filling in all the voids of the flashing so no air, no rain can come in and do water damage. And what we're doing in the living room is there used to be carpet down here. And a lot of times back in the 70s and 80s when they want to do a cell house really fast, they put carpet. Now, what we're doing for the buyer is, as you can see, it's a concrete slab. It's a couple cracks, but this is nothing to be worried about because this was uh, this was built in 1967 and houses do settle, especially on slabs. Um, so we, we had our engineer take a look. There's a couple cracks that go throughout the house, but there's nothing to worry about. So what we're going to do is fill the cracks and then we're actually going to put a nice Pergo floor, which is durable. He has dogs. He has kids. And Pergo with a laminate hardwood floor lasts a lifetime. It's very, very durable, and it's, it's really easy to upkeep. It doesn't take a lot to you, you, you mop it. It's nice and clean. So what we'll do is we'll give you another shot after the floor goes in to show you the finished look. But as you can see right now, this is, we're still in the we're still in the middle stages, but pretty soon this house is going to come together and look really great. It's going to look awesome.